and it's um, ready for the battery stuff and then the plastic and everything to be put back on and I think I've got most everything done I've learned a ton doing this and I I feel like if I did a another one I could easily do it in a fraction of the time it took me a long time to figure out all the wiring and uh, now that I've done it I did there's a couple of key things that I want to point out that I learned um, when I first wired everything up the motor was running backwards that took me a little bit to figure out the auto learn feature of those far drive controllers took me uh, a little bit to, to get my head around and figure out I did add a left brake handle um, so because the motor sticks out so far on that side I just went ahead and pulled that brake lever off and put one up on the handle <coughs> um, so yeah I do need to uh, find a permanent spot for the key but you flip the key and everything lights up I wired the horn I got the the blinkers going so I've got I'll show it to you at night but I've got uh, both the front blinker and the two rears and then if I switch over to the other side you got those two rears and the front one over here which is pretty awesome um, if you turn the lights on these blinkers actually have little blue lights on the outside which is kind of a nice added touch the headlight is is working good the tail lights got the tail lights coming on and then if I pull the brake lever either of the brake levers you can see the, the brake lights work so I'm pretty happy with finally getting all the wiring worked out um, I still need to tape off some of it and probably zip tie it a little bit tighter but I'll probably do most of that once I put all the plastic back on. <clears throat> um, so that's it. Everything is wired up and and working. Um, you know, when I when I uh, take it out, I'll get some video of it running. All three gears work. One, two, three uh, on the selector switch here. Um, never figured out what this does I do not have the high beams set up mostly because I have a kind of a floodlight put up in there um, but yeah once I figured out how to go into the software for the far drive controller and have it auto learn and then you go in and change it to the um, advanced or expert or something you can go in and tell it to switch the the reverse I think it was on zero I switched it to one and then just remember to save it and it's been it's been uh, heck I probably spent 20 30 hours on this whereas if I did it again I'm sure I could do it in a fraction of that time um, got a new chain got that all tightened up and working good mounted the controller under the seat there plenty of room I do need to build the battery box and make permanent batteries but those it's a whopping 5 amp hour 72 volt RC battery but it's capable of 45 C so even even so it can pull 200 amps couple of laps around the cul-de-sac and the battery's pretty half dead um, but it's good for testing uh, yeah the um, it was tricky working out the the wiring 
I did end up having to get a, a new switch because the one that came with the kit, I never could get it to work with the blinkers. And because this is an Enduro, I need the lights.